Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatsMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Well, it's Monday, we are back to the top of the workshop looking at the top performing map of the moment. And it's this one. Based on the real life location uh, in Canada, as the crow flies not too far from Kamloops, although I think a crow would probably prefer some other bird would make this flight because it is still a little bit of a... Canada's a big place, yeah? It's a big place. Uh, so yes, it's not from a height map from what I can tell. It looks very much hand-drawn, which I absolutely applaud. And when you consider that they're a new creator on the workshop... It's my first map. Not just this, but assets as well looking good. Double bubble today as well. Double bubble. But Double Bubble isn't actually on the Bomb Bomb Bingo card, so you won't be able to check that off, but there may be some other things to check off as we're going along. So go and grab that. Link is in the description. But before we do any double bubbling, what on earth am I talking about? <laughs> if you know, hit that like button now. That's right, hitting that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for Double Bubble. <laughs> Today's map is O'Carnigan by Camden. I had to use a little bit of Google help for that one. I think I'm about right. O'Carnigan as in O'Cardigan. <laughs> or not. Uh, there's your start square. Um, it looks a bit disinteresting and I think... There's going to be chunks of today's show which will be, shall we say, disinteresting. Uh, there's your terrain heights, definitely usable. Yeah, you can't blame the map for being what it is, can you? Uh, resources look like that, a little swathe of ore and oil. And then uh, if you've got Sunset Harbour and you want to do some fishing, your fishing map will look like this. Off to the workshop, what do we need? Well, the answer is a few little bits and pieces. There is a one-click collection. We'll be using the Revy 4K theme and, oh, excuse me, and the realistic 1.2 LUT. Uh, don't think that the uh, thumbnails were taken or the screenshots were taken with the realistic 1.2. Uh, and Relight is listed, but nothing's actually specifically stated. Uh, there are one or two things, it does actually say at the top of the description here, one or two things here which aren't absolutely required, like move it, sorry I've got a bit of a croak at the moment, uh, aren't absolutely required, like the, uh, probably like the no controller possibly, um, one or two other things that aren't strictly needed, but uh, if you grab the theme and all of the assets, uh, and I would recommend things like find it, <laughs> I mean, how do you get by without find it? It's, uh, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Anyway, uh, where were we? Yes, down to ground level. So we've got some custom roads and the roads follow roughly, uh, well, this one. And when we take the turn off on the roundabout, that one seemed to follow roughly the course of the real life location roads. And again, we've taken a real life location and it looks to me, I mean, it may be, it may be from the terrain height map. I don't believe it is. It doesn't look like a height map to me. And let's like say, all credit. Absolutely. It's really good to see somebody actually freehand draw a location. And I've compared it like for like with uh, with the area. And O'Carnigan does seem to be the name of the area rather than the name of the town that we will be uh, hovering over. I think I've got... Uh, hang on, let's see if I've still got that town up on my screen because I am um, I did um, I, I didn't know I've never heard of it why, why would have I have heard of it I had it and I seem to have lost it but yes it's uh this is this is bad I, I had it on my screen ready to dive into but yes um, it's the name of the area rather than the name of the town so uh what more should I talk about the thing is this map has huge swathes of not an awful lot going on. One thing that is going on, or should be going on, but isn't going on, are trees. Now, it does say in the description, I think it was something like 600,000 trees. So, therefore, you will need the unlimited tree mod. Uh, we'll have a look in the second half of the show at uh, the, uh, the limit counter, so we can see exactly how many trees are on the map. But it's not 600,000. 
Now, accepting that I'm using a different uh, th different LUT, sorry, from that required uh, in the so what well, that was in the uh, screenshots. I suspect the screenshots is probably something like a relight average, but uh, I'm not g ever ever gonna get best guess. Uh, maybe in extreme circumstances, I'll make a best guess, but uh, nothing's been prescribed, so I'm going with I'm going with the the standard the stock realistic 1.2. I say stock because. This is the one that you've recommended that I should use. I mean, so that was about two or three years ago. Maybe we need to upgrade this. Maybe we need to do another poll on which LUT I should be using. But I think I'm quite happy to continue using the Realistic 1.2 because it is very, it's sort of vanilla without being vanilla. You know, it makes vanilla bearable because some of the vanilla LUTs are, well, frankly, eye-breaking. Uh, Start Square has this roundabout. Um, that obviously, this roundabout will need upgrading. Uh, you are going to have some issues. But as the roundabout isn't the start square, I don't really think that that is an issue for us to worry about uh, in terms of map. A little, little janky there. Uh, I'd like to see a little smooth curve on that one. But uh, the, um, the roundabout and start square is fine. Is fine. And of course, you'll notice we have got national roads going on here rather than highways. And again, this is covered very much in the description. Oh, we have that before we go any further. This level crossing is causing a little bit of slowing down of traffic. See how it's accelerating away? I thought it was this little white van at first that was slowing everything down. But if you have a look over here, you can see all the traffic slows for the level crossing and then accelerates away. Um, if that bothers you, then that's something you need to come and fix once you start building on the map. But yes, it will be a continuous little tailback behind level crossing. I don't have a problem with level crossings. I don't, but uh, there does seem to be a little bit of traffic slowing on that one. Some sort of switchback effect going up into the hills, uh, which does seem to, and again, it's not an exact mirror, but it does seem to mirror the actual real life location and the routes that this road takes. There is another route uh, going up from the roundabout that was a straight on which I've not taken you down. I will talk about that. Um, I, I was going to take you back and show you later, but um, I, I think we got a little bit too distracted in the flyover and um, I didn't go back. But uh, let's go on to the rail. The rail is what you'd expect. Kind of exciting, isn't it? Kind of exciting. I'm so excited. <laughs> Just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control. Never mind. Uh, anyway, yes. So, um, yeah, based on real life location, what more can I say? What more can I say? Good to see that we're using the custom that the um, national. I was talking about national roads. I've digressed. I I get back to national. Yes, they 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 uh, are great. A big fan of building the roads which kind of match the area. Of course, if you want to upgrade those as you're going along, you can. Uh, I feel it is a map that will allow for a big city build on this one, and therefore you probably will want to do a complete overhaul of the highways. Uh, that's the exciting part of the rail just gone there, <laughs> the bend. Uh, it does do a couple more things before we get to the edge of the map. Uh, this week, uh, I've got a special treat for you guys as well. Uh, that special treat being Dum -ba -da 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 -da. Some new ads. I've uh, I've spent a little bit of time on Sunday putting these together. Thanks again to Zach for doing the voicing. Uh, it's just nice to have a different voice from mine every now and then. Otherwise, it's just me wittering on for hour and hour and hour. And uh, and Zach's also done a little bit of extra recording for a special one-off show that is coming up soon. You'll know the one. It's the 15k one. When we get to 15k, it's a special. He's uh, he hasn't he hasn't sent me the file yet, so <laughs> but I, I have absolute faith in him. He will not let us down. I'm sure of it. He daren't. Now I mentioned it, he can't. <laughs> now I mentioned it, he can't. There'll be a lot of hate going Zach's way. Not that he deserves any hate at all, but um, yes, if he doesn't get that job done, ah, oh, well he's getting paid for it. <laughs> he's not getting paid anything for it. So, uh, no hate, please. No hate at all. It's Monday. Be nice. Be nice. Um, big old bridge. Everybody loves a big old rail bridge. And, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure there is a rail bridge there in real life. I saw that it was a road bridge, uh, but uh, we, we're not going to see one. We have got a little bit of encroaching foliage on the rail line here. That's the only time you're going to see encroaching foliage on the rail. 
uh, uh, so it's kind of kind of just missed and I kind of feel bad that I haven't shown you the other bit of or will not be showing you the other highway because I forgot to go back but guess what's on that yeah quite a lot of encroaching foliage oopsie anyway uh, intermission time here's a new one <laughs> Do all your cities end up looking like ugly, lumpy grids? Would you like to evolve a more organic, natural-style city? Then check out Bon Bon B's Breaking the Grid playlist. Click the I button now. And so, uh, back to O'Carnigan by Camden and the shipping routes. There's only one grumble with the shipping routes, and yes, you can get hold of the advanced vehicle options mod and get yourself some smaller ships. But with the vanilla ships, they are too big for that, and you'll get quite a chunk of shipping clipping. So just be aware. Just be aware that that is something that can happen. It's probably not going to bother. If you want to play this map, I don't think it's actually going to be something that will bother you. Uh, it's just for maybe the more advanced players that quite fancy taking on the map. It's just something to be aware of. Water flow, right, we got a downstream. We're going downstream from the edge of the map, in which I think is the downstream direction in real life. If we go over here, you'll notice we are also going downstream. That's right, we have edge of map water pressure only, no spawn points, which means somewhere in the middle, which is where the start square is, is your start square. Uh, it's very light, very light. Where does it actually stop? Let's have a little look. Very, oh, we've got an arrow there going sideways. So yes, your sewage is gonna mull around about that area there. We're very close to your start square. Just be careful, find a way. There's lakes up there in real life. Sorry, I skipped straight to that. Yeah, there are lakes. And the most interesting part for me is this. This little seam here, it looks like it's fertile land where the water pours down off of the mountains. Except for that's ore. Okay, that's not fertile land, that's all. That's all of your ore, by the way, as well. That's all you're going to get to play with. We have fertile land down by the river, though, except for this is oil. <laughs> so, yeah, you can exploit this for oil all of you like. It'll look very, very nice with all of your uh, factories along the riverside. Lovely. Um, this looks nice. This looks very, very nice. Again, it just feels like we're lacking trees. And looking at the thumbnails and screenshots, there are definitely trees along here. It's a good tree good tree work generally we've avoided a lot of the cliff faces apart from one or two like over here we've got a, a kind of like a semi-blind cliff face it's facing away from the start square so you may not notice it so much but yeah this one doesn't quite fit with um what we were seeing over there uh there's the highway with the trees on it underneath us right now which i completely forgot to go down and look at um and then yeah we've just got forest let's have a look at the tree count so it's 164,000 trees, so well underneath the tree limit. Yes, I have got um, the unlimited tree mod on, allowing, as always, you've seen me do maps with way more trees than this, and I've not changed any settings. So I don't know, I don't know where this uh, missing half a million trees have gone to, but uh, there are quite a few trees I miss somewhere, somehow, I don't, I don't know. And even with my experience, I don't see what, where, what. This tri th this bridge, this bridge does feel like it needs a bit of extra support somewhere. It doesn't look like it would hold its weight. Also, doesn't look like it's supported at each end properly here. Just have a look at it so it doesn't quite clip to the end on that side. And we've got the same over here. In fact, over here, you've got that dark um, stain there, which makes it look like there's probably blue mantle. But there isn't. Hurrah! I think we can... Uh, we can give an award for the lack of Blue Mantle where I would have put strong money on there being Blue Mantle at that location. And then the Start Square, which means we've got an asset of the day. And you remember I said Double Bubble? It's the Devon and she sent her by Camden, the same creator, the self same creator. Uh, oh, I forgot to delete the dirt road. I apologize for the dirt road being on the front of the asset. Uh, this is just how I plop them down and then I normally delete the roads so they're just like the asset standing on its own so uh, yes it doesn't actually have a dirt road on the front of it uh, or trees clipping into the side of it oopsie but yes um, yeah Camden uh, making assets and making maps 
And while I'm sure there may be some grumbles about these not being as polished as, say, a Reaper skyscraper, he's new. His first asset went onto the workshop the 27th of June. And he's making assets better than I could ever do. So I'm not grumbling. I'm liking it. I think it will work for certain city builds. And factoids, because factoids. Let's do a quickie. Uh, quickie. Uh, there are over 200 different religious denominations in the United States. Apparently. Apparently. So they say. Uh, Devon Energy Centre by Camden. Today's asset of the day. Really glad to see it. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yeah, got to support the creators. Help everybody along. That's what it's all about, isn't it? And this is why I do what map it. It helps people find the right map for the next city build. Also, hopefully might give a tip or two for map makers to improve their map builds. Right, um, let's bring this camera down somewhere. And I turn to you, people. What do you think of today's map? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the i button now in the top right corner of your screen or the link in the description that takes you to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple or a Patreon account. But what do I think of today's map? Well, aesthetically, there's not really anything wrong with it. Aesthetically, I think it's a very valiant attempt at the real-life location. I think it falls a long way short of shining, but I think we can go we can go middle three on this. There's nothing nothing wrong with it. It certainly looks like the area roughly. Roughly is it's fine. It's fine. Three stars. Detailing. <sighs> Don't uh, I don't really know what to say. There's nothing really wrong with it. I mean, that bridge could be tidied up a little bit. We've got a few trees underneath the highway here and there. I think I think in, with the trees under the highway, we've got to go to a hide too because there are quite a few down that stretch and on the, under the rail impact as well. I think we'll go hide too because there's not quite enough good detailing to really make it pop. Gameplay looks playable to me. I think there's a little bit of upgrading to do, but I'll, I'll go for a lowish three. It's fine. It's fine. It works. It works. Go and have a good game on it. A Carnegie by Camden. Really glad to see a new creator with a new map and um, who's making assets as well. Obviously enjoying their game and that's to be encouraged. That's to be encouraged. And you never know in another few months time, they may be the next Reaper. They may be. Right, okay, I've made it to the end. You've made it to the end as well. And if you are here, you're part of the 20 and out elite. Use the word of the day in the comments. Score yourself some population points just for fun. It's just for fun, guys. <laughs> and I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What Map series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.